Uh, good morning all you lovely people. Welcome back to the grumpy old git in the corner. Um, as you can see, on Tuesday it's uh, a beautiful sunny day through the window there. Nice blue skies with a little bit of cloud, although they have forecast 100% rain here. <laughs> okay. We never believe them anymore anyway, do we? Um, this is going to be a short one today. Unfortunately, I have got things to do this week. Um, but I've come across this clip um, of the new Home Secretary. In the House, answering questions by Lee Anderson on what they're going to do about stopping and returning the boats to France. They did it the other day, but this was due to... Um, an incident in the channel more than anything um, but this is what was said the Anderson Thank you, Mr. speaker now then when I was in the migrant camps uh, in uh, northern France last year the migrants told me and some of my colleagues that one of the deterrents that would stop them coming is if they were turned back in the channel or sent back the same day now we saw the border force agency take a boatload back just last week so will the home secretary now with that advice grow a political backbone and order the border force to send the boats back the same day. Yeah. Well, uh, the Honourable Member refers to the, the case where there was um, an incident in the Channel and where there was cooperation between the border force and between the French authorities um, that um, did also involve um, returning people to the French coast. That operational cooperation, I think, is really important. But I would just say to him, cooperation is the really important word here, because if we want to prevent gangs operating and organising, if we want to prevent boats reaching the French coast in the first place, we have to work closely not just with France, but with Germany, with other European countries, with uh, the countries through which some of the supply chains are operating as well. And it's that cooperation that I know quite often he and some of the others in his party have refused. So that cooperation will be important, and it's our best way to stop the criminal gang. Now, <laughs> is this a new government? Because from what I was hearing there, um, that literally what she was uh, saying came straight from the Tories' book of bullshit, almost word for word. <laughs> exactly the same bullshit as Roland used to use. Oh. Hang on, pause. Ah, <laughs> sorry about that interruption, people. I had a knock at the door. I'll tell you exactly what that was in a minute. <laughs> you ain't going to believe this one. Um, but yeah, they, they're um, coming out with exactly the same bullshit as the Tories. Now, it won't work working with the EU countries because. If they wanted to stop them, they would stop them. They wouldn't even get as far as fucking France. They wouldn't even get a chance to get across the channel. So they don't give a shit about us. All they want to do is get them out of their country and they don't give a flying fuck where they go. Unfortunately, they know once they sent them here, we won't be sending them back anywhere. So... We're no no change, no difference. This this government is all for it, same as the last one was. But there we go. Now this, funny enough, that knock at the door. This shows just how much money the NHS is wasting. Now, when I was at the hospital the other day, um, had my bloods checked and. Um, Friday, I had an appointment with my consultant. Um, there's some new pills she wants me to take. Today, my pills arrived. Now, just round the corner, we've got a chemist. Where my pills normally come from. If I can't get round there myself, they will deliver. But literally, it's less than a quarter of a mile round the corner. 
But the hospital, she, oh, I better cover the address up there. Don't want anybody seeing that. Um, to send them all by DPD. <laughs> How much is that costing per package? Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's all I've got for today, folks. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know I don't often feed the trolls. I have kicked, a lot, kicked people off my channel for being dicks, or I just don't like them. What they've done in the past what they've done to other people um, there's certain types of people I just don't want around me but for some time now um, yeah I just leave them I ignore them leave them to do whatever they want to do I, I don't give a flying fuck but it's a sad lonely fucking person that does this yep every now and again I'll get a stream of one dislike on my videos so it's obviously just one individual coming in um, thank you for the views by the way <laughs> when you do do it because you have to view a certain amount of the video to uh, register your dislike <laughs> but yeah giving a thumbs down now <laughs> I did a little experiment yesterday because there was something strange going on with YouTube um, the management page of the videos wasn't showing um, the video I posted so I thought I'll post another one to see if that goes up um, eventually they both did so I presume it was just a glitch at YouTube um, but I actually posted a short funny cats video now everybody loves funny cats but guess what <laughs> yep some very, very mentally disturbed individual came in and gave it a dislike. You know, I, I think it's because they can't get the help they want. They, they need mental health treatment and at the moment they just can't get it. <laughs> but I just thought I'd have a laugh with that one. Um, tomorrow there won't be a video for definite. Um, I've got several appointments, one of which... As you all know, I've been getting problems with my eyes lately. Um, again, um, I believe this is down to the polycythemia. But I've actually got a, an eye test booked for tomorrow. And they're going to look into it and investigate what's going on with them. So hopefully I might get some answers on that. Along with some more appointments. But hopefully, fingers crossed, there will be the normal midweek live tomorrow night. Um, for a couple of hours, just catching up with everybody. So hopefully we'll see you all then. But until then, as always, stay safe, stay absolutely strong, and stay free from this bullshit. Every time a politician opens his mouth, they're lying to you. Respects, people. <laughs>